Well, here it is. My first time giving streaming a shot. I'm a little nervous, but it should be a good time. Uh, okay, so I'm your resident smut writer. I like to write erotic fiction. Um, if you are interested in reading any of it, you can go to my website, ericabeal.com. And there's like little stories, some quickies, things to enjoy. I mean, that's not exactly what we're here for today. Today, we're actually going to do a gameplay of a dating simulator. Um, not my usual type of game to play, but you know, I figured this would be the best type of game for somebody who enjoys writing erotic fiction. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at this game here. It is called um, College Craze. Um, now, I actually went to college for all of 30 minutes 20 years ago, so I didn't get to do the whole college girl goes wild thing. So I think, uh, you know, doing a dating sim might be fun. If you're out there, feel free to give me some guidance on what I should select or who I should select. Um, the game is actually still in development, so it's not the full game. Uh, but from the <laughs> two reviews that are on the uh, Steam page, uh, it's pretty good uh, to say what it has so far. Um and it, actually, this looks like it is the first game from the developer. Because they have nothing else on Steam. Um, but what I was thinking is first, we could go ahead and take a look at their website together. Oh, I happened to have closed it. It's okay, because we can get it back. Alright. Uh, you know, I opened it up, and the artwork looks pretty decent. Yes, I know. We're going to an external site. Alright. So, yes, we are 18 only. Hopefully everybody else here is 18 plus. Um, if not, you might want to go. Because, I mean, it has a sensor on there for streaming, but who knows what you'll see. Um, but... You know, you know, I, I, I was like a nice hot guy or hot girl. So let's see. Here's our website. Uh, let's see. All right. Customize your college experience. Very nice. Uh, yep. College Craze is an adult dating sim and life simulator game with a branching story structure heavily dependent on your previous choices, you'll find endless possibilities for your own college experience at Sugardale U. Oh boy. Um, oh my. <laughs> Sugardale U. Fuck around and find out. Well then, I think I will. Okay, so... Um... um like, I opened earlier and took a look. There isn't really much customization. What really excites me about this game... First of all, I'm one of the first people to play it, it looks like. Uh, it just came out on the third. And, uh, like I said, this looks like it's Pretty Ink's first game they've released. So, you know, it's kind of a review. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, but anyway, the character customization isn't really there. I mean, there's some stuff, but the exciting part is you are a woman in this game, and you know, I feel like you know, the ladies don't get enough attention for their games here, so alright, ooh, how will you do it? Fetishes! Planned and included. Oh, you know, okay, so the, I'm not a fan of, fan of that. I, I tried it once, once was enough. Anyway, exhibitionism, glory hole, oh my. Threesomes of all kinds. Reverse harem. Well, I started a reverse harem story and never finished it. Still thinking about it. I'll get around to it. 
it was going to be about a uh, uh, princess in like kind of like a post-apocalyptic future world where the world has been rebuilt, but the society is more the women are in charge and they take on multiple husbands and uh, her life as, uh, you know, trying to figure out which one's going to be her dominant husband. Anyway, that's coming down the pipeline. I eventually someday I have 40 other stories I'm supposed to be working on. Only four of them are finished. One of them is being re uh, uh, revised. My uh, baby sister from another family is, uh, editing the story for me. So that's really cool. Um, let's see. Mal BDSM. Public sex. Mm. 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 Let's see. Uh, spanking toys. Vanilla stuff. Voyeurism. Cream pies. Don't get the excitement about the cream pie situation. I... I mean, that's nice, dear. Pat Pat cookie. Be on your way. Um, praise. Praise is always good. Aftercare. Well, I guess you gotta wipe that shit down after you're done. Gang bang. Depending on the, uh, specifics about that, that could be good or bad. Uh, sugar relationships. Hmm. First time in orgy. Well, then. We are in for something special, aren't we? Oh, look, oh, oh picture. Uh oh. Well, actually, that's fine. This has adults only on the thing. If you're not, again, if you're not a grown up, you might want to go. <laughs> but, alright. So, yep. Yeah. Is there a walkthrough guide? Probably not. No, nobody's played it yet. Uh, alright. Testers, fill up this form. That's eh, okay. We're gonna just test it together right about now. Oh, let me get OBX open. Get the gaming thing ready. Alright. Shall we get this party started? Alright. Here we go. Let me turn the sound back one. Uh, by the way, this game, for, at least for headphones, is super loud. <laughs> Hopefully for you guys, it's not that bad. Oh no, oh. Oh, it's so loud. All right. Make sure the sound is on the thing. Yep, we're good to go. All right, so let's get started. Now, at the very beginning, it shows you, you know, the how to play, but I already forgot. Pray for me. Um, I don't have it on there. Yeah, we're gonna have to pray for me here. Alright. So, let's see. Three skin tones. I'm gonna go for chocolate. Let's see. Uh, eh. eh, Alright. Wavy hair. Medium length curls. Now, usually in the past, I would dye my hair red very often. I haven't done it in a while. I actually haven't dyed my hair in a really long time. I think about it, but every time I do, it makes the shower look like somebody died. So my husband doesn't like that. By the way, he's in the room. So if you hear a man's voice, it's him, not a crazy stranger or anything. Right now he's playing uh, Cities, City, Cities Timeline? Is that what it's called? Skyline. Oh my God. And, uh, Actually, he's been playing it for like an hour, and his city is actually huge. Are you cheating? No, he says. Well, all right. All right, let's get started. All right, continue. It feels like it took forever, but I'm finally here. I'm officially a freshman at Sugardale U. Oh, looks like my dad's messaging me. Uh-oh, what's Pearl Papa want? Hope you got in all right, my college girl. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's censored boot, okay. So, ugh, my dad acts like 
my stepmom's boob job is more important than helping his only daughter move into her first day of college. Sir? Excuse you? Alright. Oh. Oh no. Oh, whoops, said the wrong button. Uh. Oh, okay. I'm dumb. Don't mind me. Alright. She's been in recovery for almost six months now from a boob job. What's she doing there? Just on conk all day? What? Uh, Alright. I'm not surprised, though. Ever since Rosalie's been around... Oh, uh, Rosalie's been around. He's been... He's completely lost his backbone and does everything she says. Fellas, if you're out there, that's the way you're supposed to do it. me like that you know all right including turning my room into a playroom for her two stupid dogs second I moved out what does a dog need with a whole playroom all right or it's hard to get here and I need to work even hard to graduate and get a good job but most important I've got to find a place to live this summer so I don't have to go back home and live with my evil stepmother and her two d demon dogs and her ginormous hooters, I'm sure. Alright. Let's see. Which one do I want to do? Do I want to wish Rosalie well? Or do I want to scold her for not being here? I scold Dad for not being here. Oh. So here we go. I'm real passive. So, and I'm also nice, usually. You know what? No. F that. Old man should be there. Me. She's been in recovery for nearly half a year. You should be here. But you let her get to you. Get to you. Yet again. Ugh. Dad. Now that's unfair. She's had a really tough time. And she needs me here. I know you don't like her, for whatever reason, Hong Kong, but she really wanted to be there with you and couldn't. What's going on with these tits? Alright, no matter what you think, we both love and miss you very much. I hope you're in a better mood the next time we talk. Yeah, roll your eyes. There's no reason reasoning with him. Ugh. It's probably a good thing they're not here to help me at all, after all. Luckily, I have my best friend Blair to help me. Room 701. This should be the right room. I sure hope so. Well, I better get move, start moving in some of my things. Start moving some of my things then. I think my roommate might be already here. The door's open. Could be a crazy person. Whoa! Hello! I'm almost sad that we can't see it. Oh well. This is definitely not a co-ed room. A dorm. Mm. What should I do? Mm, let's see. He looks really cute. No reason to scare him away. Throw my box at him. He's an intruder. Do nothing. Maybe he'll get embarrassed and leave. Uh, maybe he'll get embarrassed and leave, but he kind of looks like a douchebag. So there's a good chance he's probably going to try to stick around. I don't know. Alright. Whoa! Sorry I didn't see you there. Probably he's more like, Whoa! Sorry, I didn't see you there. Dude. That's fine. I was just getting some of my stuff in. Mm. Oh my gosh. This can't be any more awkward. I should have said something. Ah. Uh, well, this is awkward. I promise I'll be out of your hair in a few. That's right. Get the hell out. Take your time. Now I'll grab my clothes and head out. You're Trish's roomie, though, right? I'm Bryce. Mm, he even has a douchebag name. What's my name? Mmm, it's a good name. Let's 
see, what does she look like? She looks like a Tiffany with an eye. My bad to any Tiffany's with an eye out there. Oop. Tiffany! I'm Tiffany. Nice to meet you, Bryce. Tiffany. I like the sound of that. Cute name for a cute girl. That's right. Oh. Oh! Jesus. Oh my god, I almost died. That scared the hell out of me. Anyway. Who the hell are you? Babe. I leave you alone for one minute, and you're already getting some rando drool over you. Really, Brace? Babe. 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 What are you talking about? I literally just got out of the shower with you and your roommate came through. Oh yeah, I'm sure that's exactly what happened. Oh. Okay, now let me see when her voice. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe you're in, sh like, in a room with another girl and you're naked. Actually, you know what, now that I think about it, I mean, if they're just getting there, I mean, I probably would want to settle in first instead of banging. Unless he got really sweaty or something, but whatever. Alright, so back to Trish. Uh, judging by the look on her face, you are probably giving her a real show. She seems confused as she cleared things up for her. What a bitch! I should put her in her place. Oh no, she's clearly upset. I should apologize. Oh, bitch! Alright, we'll clear things up. Hey, this is totally a total misunderstanding. He's right. I was just moving some of my stuff in, and he was here. Save for someone who actually cares. I'm not going to spend the rest of the rest of the year with a roommate who can't stay in her lane. Ah! I mean, bitch. Alright. I'm sure our Dean will love to hear about how you've been le here less than a day and already you've made me and my boyfriend feel uncomfortable with your sexual harassment. What? What? No. Come on, Bryce. Get dressed in the bathroom where the perv won't see you. I gotta get. I gotta go find the dean. This bitch has lost her mind. <laughs> Is she serious? There's no way I'm stuck with her for my freshman year. I hope she's having a bad day or something. Mm. At least I won't have to deal with either of them while I'm moving the rest of my stuff in. All right. I wonder where Blair is. She said she was going to be here by now to help me out. Hey. Hey. We're going backwards hat. Hey. Probably surfs. Whoa, you scared me. I thought you left. I had to come back for some and say something. I'm so sorry about that. You're not the one that should be apologizing. She's right. Yeah, but she'll never apologize. She can get a little crazy sometimes. That's the understatement of the year. Yes, it is, girl. Yes, it is. I gotta be honest. I didn't come here to back to apologize. Just oh, I didn't just come back to apologize. Uh oh. Oh. Let me get your pop me. You know, so I can give you a heads up next time I plan on visiting. Give him my pop me info. I don't know. Could he be any more sleazy? No. I don't know. I don't know. Don't you have a girlfriend? Yeah, so. A guy can't be friendly. 
Uh, he's just trying to be nice. Uh, he's being more, way more than friendly? Hmm, I think he is just trying to be nice. But he does have a douchebag look about him, though. I don't know which way to go. I really, really don't. Well, you got a point. Nice. Toss me your phone real quick. New contact addict. Price. Feel free to stop by Delta Epsilon if you ever need any space from Trish. Okay. You're in a frat? Uh, sis, he looks like he's in a frat. Hello? Yeah, it's nice and nice and living in any tiny dorms. Plus, I get my own room there, so... Bryce? Where are you? Ugh. Shit, I gotta go. H hit me up, alright? I... What a nice guy. I can't believe he's dating someone as crazy as Trish. At least I may have a place to go when she goes nuts again. You better find a coffee shop. I hope I don't have to run away from my dorm very often, though. Well, I better get back to moving the rest of my stuff in. I don't know what's ho that. Oh, sorry. I don't know what's holding Blair up, but I'm sure she'll be here soon. Done. Finally. Damn. That was fast. I'm impressed. It's so bad Blair wasn't here to... <laughs> Tiffany! You're here! I'm so excited! Is that Blair? She looks so different since I last saw saw her last winter. Uh, I figured they were like high school friends, but okay. I like her new style. Way more expressive. New piercings too. She looks t like a totally different person. Blair, where have you been? I thought you were going to meet me er here earlier. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I got a cut up caught some crap when I was. That, blah, 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 blah. I got caught up with some crap with my advisor. She's pressuring me to declare a major since I'm a sophomore. Ah, uh, okay. Now it all comes together. And I told her I still had a, uh, I still have a whole year to figure it out. But I don't want to bore you with my bullshit. Besides, we gotta hit up the activities fair. We do? Uh, yeah. Or maybe, uh, yeah. <laughs> I've had my eye on the Art Society president since last year. And things I would do to that man. Mm. I'm, mm. Mm. Let's see. Wait, what happened to Gabe? Aren't you still dating? Yeah, until he broke up with me. He literally told me I was too boring in bed. Can you believe that? That's no surprise to me, or I can't believe that. Bitch, you better don't say that's no surprise to me. What? I can't believe that. Yeah. Are you kidding me? What an a-hole. He should be happy to even gave him that time of day. Well, I'm going to make him regret breaking up with me. Oh, I'm hard. Okay. I had my glow up, and I'm on a mission. No one's ever going to call me Vanilla again. Ever. Ever. Again. Vanilla. All right, my little Tiffany. Still a virgin. So much to learn, little one. Hey! You barely had your first kiss last year. I can't expect you to know much. You're only four months older than me. We haven't seen each other in months. A lot can change in that time. Okay, Blair. Okay. Wait, are you saying what I think you're saying? You're not a virgin anymore and you didn't tell me? Are you still a virgin? 
Let's see. I'm still a virgin, and I've been meaning to tell you. All right. I'm going to pause right here for a sec. And just say... This was my own experience. I, uh... I went to college a virgin. I had done some stuff, but I never got that far into the whole thing. Um... I mean, it wasn't from lack of trying, but yeah, it just never quite happened. But the first few months I was in college, and I gotta say, it wasn't that great. I mean, I was really, literally doing it just to do it. So if you're out there and you haven't, and you're like about to go to college, don't feel pressured because. It don't get good till later. Believe you me. Anyway, let's get back to it. So I'm going to say... Uh, I'm still a virgin. Why not? Way to rub it in. Don't worry. There are more than enough opportunities for you to change that. If you're even trying to change that, of course. But we'll talk about that later. All that later. We have to get to the activities fair before it's too late. Alright. We're on our way. We're on our way to the activities fair. Oh, my light. What happened? I don't know. Oh, did it get unhooked? Did it just break? Did I turn it off accent? Oh. Lord Jesus, help us all. I think I still hit it. It didn't seem like it did. I mean, something fell. At least it ain't broke. Alright, back to what we were doing. I don't think I'll ever get over how big this campus is. I'm so lucky the scholarship, I got the scholarship I did, or I would never be able to afford this place. Alright. Let's see. Don't, uh, damn it, we just got, we got here too late. Oh, no. Let's hurry up and, and look through the, what's left. Oof. Mm, sorry, don't die. It's only the only time to sign up for these. Uh, will it? Uh, let's see. They're just academic clubs. Girl, you got so much to learn about Sugardale U. Why are these? Why are the clubs so popular? That's a good question. No one really cares about the academics of each club. They're just the easiest way to get the best internships for the summer jobs for the summer, or jobs if you're graduating. Oof. They fill up fast, and you can, and you can be really competitive to get into. So if you want to join one, now is the time to do it. Why are internships so important? Good internships equal good job equal good money. It's simple. <sighs> yep, that's accurate. I mean, I guess I... Well, I had an externship at one point, not internship, but anyway. Plus, if you please the club prez... They'll probably be able to pull some strings and get you a really good gig. Mm. Is she implying I mm, 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 do some stuff to the club president? Mm. She can't be serious. I mean, I'm going to say what she's implying. And by please you mean... I wasn't trying to say that, but I like the way you think. I'm sure the president wouldn't mind a little extra. A little extra Tiffany attention. Oh. They're well connected. So they get you a, uh, so they can get you a fair get you far if you play your cards right. Oh lord. Just keep your hands off my man Raffy and take your pick of the rest. What clubs can we choose from? Usually Sugardale U has about 50 clubs to choose from. Oh, boy. 
Since we're late, though, it looks like there are only a few left. Okay. Tell me about the arts. Okay. What's up with the artists, Arts Association? It's run by Raphael, but everyone calls him Raffi. Oh. I told you about him earlier. He's really a really talented painter. Oh, so that's the guy you had your eye on. I guess I know what club you're joining. Yup. People say that they're just, that they're the biggest druggies on the campus, though. I heard Raffi is close to some big dealer from the east side, but who knows? I heard you can get a cool internship at museums curating exi art exhibits or behind the scenes at a design agencies if you get in. Might be cool for you, too, if, you get, if you're into that. All right. Tell me about the sciences. Tell me about the science society. Ugh, my stupid stepbrother, Thomas, is the president. He thinks he's so much better than everyone else just because his, his GPA has been the highest in every class since he was able to walk. I didn't know Thomas hit me here, too. You know I hate talking about him. He's such an ass. Well, what about the, the club, then? I don't know much about them. I know they're big on grades and have the, the best tutors. They can probably get you an internship with the top researchers or shadowing doctors for the, uh, the summer to get if you get in. I don't care about sciences or art. Well, there's the investments club. Tell me about the investments. Well, let's see. They're one of the hardest clubs to get into. I know they pull they pull their membership dues, and they you actually put money into the stock market. Really? Yeah, they can make serious bank. Plus, they throw the best parties on campus. People say if you're in their club, you're set for life. And you're probably intern with Wall Street execs or real estate firms if you're with them. Who runs it? Oh no, Blair. Oh no, sorry. Oh, this is the guy. Bryce. Ugh. Really? Oh, I may have had him misunderstood there. He's a whole other kind of douche, I guess. Alright. He's really into the whole frat and party scene. His family owns, like, half the school. Oh. What? Tell Blair about this morning. Or Blair doesn't need to know about this morning. Well, she's my best friend, so I'm gonna tell her. Long story. But when I was moving in this morning, he was naked in my room. I think he just gotten out of the shower. He stayed in my roommate, who's a total brunch. She said she was going to report me to our, uh, to our dean for harassing her and Bryce. Your roommate, Trish, is the... Ew. Archie's representing her freshman... I heard she's repeating her freshman year because she left school early last semester. Why did she leave early? I'm not really sure. Something to do with her mel with a meltdown or going to a mental hospital or something. Wow, sounds serious. Now she got some real issues. Yeah, we know. But she chose the wrong girl to mess with. Don't worry. I'll make sure she'll get a, get a taste of her own medicine. Well, little does she know, I've got braces pop me. You sneaky bee. Oh, you're gonna be you're gonna be so much trouble. I love it. Well, only if I have a partner in crime. Don't worry, girl, I got you. But before we cause too much trouble, we need to join one of these clubs before they pack up. Which one do you think you're join of joining? Let's see. Investment, science, arts. Actually, I'd rather look for a job. Mm, we could have some drama. I'm feeling like some drama. I'm thinking about some drama. Let's do the drama. Investments club sounds good to me. It's a total sausage party. You'd be the only girl there, but good luck. Well, aren't you a sight for sore eyes, says Bryce. Damn, I thought the next time I saw you, I'd be in your room with nothing but a towel on. A little role reversal, huh? That can totally be arranged. I'll, I'll believe you when it happens. 
Oh, yeah? You busy this weekend? I have to wait a whole week? Investments club having our initiation. Trish isn't in the club, so... Technically, I'm not in the club either yet. Yet either. If you come by this weekend, you won't have to worry about going through an, a million tests like the other losers on this wait list. You'll be my first pick to join this semester. Well, this sounds like there is one thing I still have to do to get in. Maybe. Maybe not. So what do you say, Tiffany? Are you coming on Friday? Hmm. Hmm. Am I coming on Friday? Hmm. Well, sure. Why not? Drama. I'll be there. All right, then. Can't wait. See you this weekend, Tiffany. So now we're back to Blair. Hey, so how'd that go? I'm in. I just got to do go to, go to initiation, whatever that means. Initiation? Uh, girl, are you sure you're ready for that? I have a pretty good idea of what I'll have to do, so I'm not worried about my, my chances. If you say so. Uh, Dean Monroe. Hello. <coughs> Sorry. Let's get sophisticated. Um, hello, ladies. Pop up trio. No, I'm sorry. Dean Moreau. Sorry I didn't see you there. Never mind that, Miss Anderson. I'm glad to... I ran into you, Tiffany. You are? Yes. How have you been adjusting to your first day at Sugardale? Have you met your roommate yet? Oh, shit. I hope this isn't about this morning. Did Trish tell, really tell on me to our dean? Now, have you met your roommate yet? Alright. Lie or tell the truth? I'm just gonna tell the truth. Um, I actually have, yes. I'm glad to hear it. I anticipate you'll adjust well to Sugardale with your academic record and history. If you need help with anything, please seek me out. Seek out the campus resources at hand. I'm a busy man, so try not to bother me too much. Promise not to bother? Bring up Trish. Uh, promise not to bother. Yes, sir. I'll say it out of your hair. If that's his real hair. Atta, girl. Love to hear it. Alright. Anyway, I didn't mean to come here to go interrogate you. I need to meet with you tomorrow morning. What about? Your financial situation. I want to respect your privacy since we're in your friend's company. But I expect to see you tomorrow morning in my office at 7 a.m. Dude, at 7 a.m.? Come on. I mean, yeah, I'm an adult and I have a job even though I'm on leave right now. 7 a.m. is rough. I said as I woke up at 6... 21 this morning. They didn't have to work. That's just the time I woke up. 7 o'clock! Like I said. Yes, 7 a.m. sharp. See you there, Tiffany. Who was even up that early? And meaning about financial doesn't... That financial aid doesn't sound good at all. I know. Don't suck me out, though. I've already got enough to deal with today. I just want coffee and something sweet. I know the perfect place. Alright. Looks like we're going on the bus. Alright. Actually, I'm going to pause real quick. I will be right back.
I didn't realize I was talking to myself. Whoopsie. I had didn't want to mute for a second there. But let's get back to the game. Alright, so, so, let's see, you know, I've never been able to really explore Sugardale, you know, blah, blah, blah. I've never been able to explore Sugardale before, so, uh, what line, which line are we taking? Well, Sugardale is split into four major districts. Alright, let's talk about the north. What's up there? That's Saccharin Summit. Saxum for short. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Let me take the orange line from here to get to there. Get there. It's where the super rich people live. You know, that guy, Priorstorn Vitok. Vitok? Okay. Who? You're kidding me. You don't know one of the biggest influencers in the world? The guy who gives away money to people and does pranks and never heard of him i never heard of him oh sorry wow well he lives up there along with every other person who's got real money in the city all right let's talk about the east all right so what's up with that? so what's that part of town known for toffee springs no toffee springs you take the red line from here to get there. Let's see. Super rough side of town. Don't ever go there alone. Alright. Let's see. My ex's my ex's dealer used to live around there? Oh, that's right. No, wait. Wait, so she <laughs> Her ex-boyfriend was a junkie, and she's talking about going on it out with a guy who may be into drugs. I see our friend Blair has a type. Alright, sorry. My ex's drug dealer used to live around there. He hated going there, but he always said it was the best place to get the best stuff. I've never been, but if you're ever hard up for uh, quality drugs, I guess you could ri just risk it. Uh, just be careful. Sure, whatever you say. Alright, let's talk about the west. Alright, on the west. Oh, shoot. Ah, I hit the wrong button. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Alright. That's Honeywood. We're talking... Uh, we're taking the green line to get to the cafe up there. They got the best clubs. Lots of cute places to shop. It's just really expensive. It's definitely where you want to spend your free time outside of outside of school if you have cash. It looks like a really nice part of town. It is. I used to hang there all the time with Gabe. And when, when Gabe and I were together, he used to live there. Is he still living around there now? Who knows? He can be living in a cardboard box for all I know now, care now. Mm. Alright, and let's talk about the south side. Living on the south side. We're in the south. It's where sugar you is. Duh. Uh, I mean, how was I supposed to know? I just got here. Um, what a witch. Anyway. Oh, right. This place is so much bigger than I expected it to be. The college tours barely mention anything off campus. That's not a mistake. Uh, Sugardale townies and the students have a weird beef with each other. It's the reason we aren't allowed to go off campus until we're seniors. Though, you said Gabe lived in town? He dropped out after his first semester. Why do you keep bringing him up? I'm, I'm not, I just... Watch out. Oh, watch out. What the F? That car did not just splash that dirty puddle onto me. 
It definitely did. I can't walk around town looking like this. Well, it's a 20 when it, when it walked back to the dorms, and I think I see the bus just down the street. Please tell me you're kidding. I'm not, but the Honey Honeywood's bus stop lets off right in front of a really cute boutique. We can just go in there and get you some new clothes before we get, stop at the cafe. All right, I guess that'll work. Now we're on the bus. Honk, honk. This is so embarrassing. My shirt is see-through. People are staring. I can tell. Blair, am I crazy? Or did someone just take a picture of me? Rude. I think you're overreacting, girl. We're almost there. Don't worry. Just two more stops. Alright, we're at the store. Oh. Uh-oh. Sweet jams. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My jam. It's nice. It's smooth. Anyway. Finally. I can't wait to get out of these grimy clothes. This is one of my favorite places to go in town. They got such cute stuff. And perfect for any occasion. I just need something that's not wet. Or dirty. Or ruined. Well, go try something on. Alright. Time to get out of these. Oh, it's censored. Alright. I guess we could see some hunkers there. If it wasn't on the uh, streamer setting. Alright. This is perfect. Oh! 89.50! No. No. Is there not a nice fancy Tarjay? Why? God, you're in college, girl. You ain't got that money. Are you okay in there? No. No. 89, almost 90 dollars. No. For a dress. And don't get me wrong, it kind of looks like it's a cute dress. I can't see the whole thing. But, um. <laughs> no. Let's see. I told you Honeywood doesn't cheap. I only had 50 bucks. You showed up in your first day of college only 50 bucks? I feel like $50? Really? How are you expecting to pay for books or food or anything? My financial aid should have gone through by now. I was waiting for that to come through for pocket money. Well, you won't get far around Honeywood with only $50. Here, how about you try this on? It's cheaper. It's the cheapest thing in the store. Alright, what are we trying on? No way. Oh, man. Girlfriend is hanging out. That's... I can tell you, if she uh, goes out wearing that, she could probably make a couple of 50 bucks. Let's see. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. It's cute. Plus, it's on sale. Only $45. If I move the wrong way, I'm going to fall out of this top. It's the only thing in here that's in your budget. It's either this or your old clothes. Let's see. Wear old clothes, buy a new outfit. Ugh. I'm so cheap. But I don't like being dirty. Eh. I don't like these choices. Hmm. Ugh. I guess. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to feel. Okay, I'm just gonna wear the old clothes. It's not worth it. Let's just go. I'm sure my old clothes will be dry by the time we get to the cafe. That's bold, but whatever you say. Let's get out of here. Let's get, get out of here. Well, you know what? She is wearing a bra, so it's not totally see-through. No nip slips. Finally. Ugh. I've been daydreaming day about an iced latte from this place all day. Mm, what? My clothes aren't dry. I look terrible. 
You're alright, just don't bring any attention to it. If you ever save up enough, you can always get a car so you don't have to risk it next time. How often could this even happen? I was just standing too close to the curb. I remember when I said the town is weird? Has a weird beef with students? You mean someone did this on purpose? They could have. Who knows? Townies are weird. I'll take whoever's next in line. Hopefully a sweet drink will calm my nerves a bit. Uh oh. Looks like it's Gabe. Working at a cafe. Should have known. Welcome to Sweet Bean Cafe. What can I get? Can I get you started? What can I get started for you, Blair? Uh, since when do you start working here? Since I dropped out of SU. Hey, aren't you Tiffany? Pretend not to know him. Be nice to him. Hmm. Ugh. Again, my instincts are telling me to be nice. I didn't think you'd recognize me. It's been almost a year. Well, yeah, well, you definitely look different since the last time I saw you. I had a freak accident at the bus stop with a car, and uh, I'm, so, I'm so sorry for showing up like this. No need to explain. Shit happens. I'm not complaining. He can't keep his eyes off my chest. <gasps> Honk, honk. Honk. Squeezy, squeezy. Nippy, nippy. Typical boy. Hey, let me get you something on the house. You're effing kidding me. Chill out, Blair. Yeah, Blair, what's the issue? The issue, Gabe, you're really going to stand there and hit on my best friend in front of me? I'm not hitting on anyone. I'm being nice and helping your friend out. Uh, if you start, if you stared any harder at her chest, your eyes would, would fall out. You've always been such a flirt. It's probably why you really broke up with me in the first place. You just wanted to f other girls. You're causing a scene. Good. Good. Duh. Maybe you lose your job over it. It'll save you the trouble of quitting yet another good thing. Hello, a good thing is me. A uh, Blair. Don't worry, Tiffany. Blair's just having another one of her little tantrums. I'll be right back. Um, um, yeah, I'll be right back, but someone else will take care of you. No, Gabe. This isn't a tantrum. I'm just telling you the truth you don't want to hear. You're a non-committal piece of beep. Blair, back room. Now. I watched Gabe as he darted around the counter and grabbed Blair by the arm. Alright, what's with these chicks in this town? They need to chill out. I mean, he was just being nice. You can be nice to people. I'm nice to people. I'm not flirting most of the time. Anyway. Before I know it, they both disappear down a hallway, away from the crowd of the cafe. Everyone has their eyes glued to the scene. Holy S. Blair told me they broke up, but I didn't know it was that bad. I don't think I've ever seen her that angry before. Hello, can I help you? What? Oh yeah, I mean, no. Uh, you can help the next person in line. I have to make sure Blair is all right. Gabe sounded really angry. And I, I didn't like the way he grabbed her and dragged her away. All right. I saw them disappear down this hall. Hmm. You know what? I said I was only going to stream for an hour. And the hour has come. If you want to know what happens, one or two things need to happen from your end. Either you come back next Friday at 9, 
and we finish this up together, you and me. Or you can always download it and you download the game yourself. It's free. It's on Steam right now. So far, so good. I mean, I'm pretty much enjoying it. I mean, uh, there's like, you know, it, it's okay. But anyway, so I hope you enjoyed our gameplay today. Oh. I don't know how loud it is for you, but it's pretty loud for me. But, uh, yeah. So, what did we learn about Sugar Del U? Bitches be tripping. Because every girl so far, except for the main girl, is crazy. And plus, her stepmom with the huge knockers, apparently, that are so heavy that she can barely get up to be able to go and see her stepdaughter off the college. Skank. That's some hard skanking. And I don't like it. Anyway, uh, we had a couple of guys. I mean, we have the douchebag. We have Gabe, who might be a douchebag. I don't know. Kind of depends. Again, so far, the guys have seemed pretty normal, and the girls have seemed pretty crazy. So we'll see how it all pans out. So, other than that, you know, you can always hit me up on, you know, Facebook or Twitter. Uh, you know, Smut Writer, or well, on uh, Facebook is uh, Writer of Smut, and on Twitter it's Smut Writer. Um, you always go on my um, website, ericabeal.com, and go ahead and, uh, you know, I didn't realize I didn't have anyone on the just uh, chatting thing. Uh, and you can go ahead and take a look at some stories. Some of them are dirty. Some of them are just kind of on the romance side. I kind of like hover between the two. I try to do some neat smut. Like nice, neat, calm. Nothing too aggressive. Um, I'm going to get back to doing some reviews. Uh, there's a review for one book uh, book I read. Um, it's on Amazon. You can If you have a Kindle Unlimited, it, you can read it for free. It's all called a... Um, something cupidity tales of cupidity i don't know but anyway if you go to the website if you go to my website you can definitely go ahead and take a look at that as a matter of fact you know what i can show you my website oh no i don't want to do that that's my personal stuff let's see hmm if i can spell my own name right I can get there. Don't judge. It's been a long day. All right. Let me uh, show you what I'm working with. All right. Well, here's my website. Aircarbeal.com. You can always subscribe. I appreciate. And you can also subscribe to the stream. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is uh, for this. It is uh, uh, SW Plays Games, or Smart Writer, obviously. And then I also have my regular channel, which is just Eric Beal. Um, but anyway, let me uh, click on a couple things. Just see all my little quickies. Red Delicious is actually one of the very first ones I ever wrote. I'm pretty proud of it. So far, there's uh, about five of them. I got one brewing up in here right now. But we'll see how it goes. Um, other than that, we are going to wrap it up for this evening. I'm so glad you're able to take a look and see what's going on. Until next time, we'll me, you, and Tiffany will explore more of our sexuality. Alright. Keep your mind in the gutter. Until next time.
in the gutter. Until next time.